Hello everyone. Today's topic is compiling MHM in Ubuntu TSL. If you activated Ubuntu on your Windows 10 machine, then there's no reason to seek on Sequin environment, which is really energy consuming and uh, a lot of headaches. You can just run MHM in Ubuntu Terminal. That's a great option and hopefully you will benefit from this uh, in your calculations. Getting familiarity with Linux environment will be always an advantage for masters and PhD students. So you search Ubuntu on your computer. I, I said TLS, but it's LTC. I'm sorry about that. I have the version 18.04, um, and you run a terminal here. That's what you need for running and compiling. Of course, we need to search for the model source code MHM GitLab search on net it will give you the git UFS here it's always in the develop category that's all everybody is uh, contributing this is the latest one and uh, with the stable releases it's 11.1 version 5.11.1 so, here I have tried before, so let's uh, just have a clean one. Here we are in this page of 5.11.1. You can download uh, targets since this is uh, this an Ubuntu. Uh, it will recognize targets files. Or here is a trick. Copy the link and you use you use vget option. First, I have to emphasize that you go to install MD file here you follow the steps here for Ubuntu step one is this one all right you need a sudo password how you receive it you, you should uh, search for for the steps it's out of scope here uh, let's let's try step by step here very fastly where is our tls it's here it can remain here okay uh, i've installed it before you need to sudo Here it says newest version is already no need to install CMake. Watch here, it's 3.10. This make uh, this may result in a, an error. Uh, I recommend you to download and install version 3.15.2. You can go to the website and uh, find even newer releases. And uh, and if you look at the CMake version here, I should I should say to check what is now. Uh, should check it like this one it's 
already installed and 15 points. Why I'm emphasizing here is that uh, there's a limitation for for CMEC that uh, that it should be at least uh, sold information, but uh, for for others for the new versions is 3.12 minimum source well. 3.11, 12 uh, is not mentioned yet. Uh, yeah, probably this will be indicated later on. I thought it's here. I think it's in the uh, Zenodo web page. Uh, where is it? This year, the newer version. Okay, we are here happily, and uh, somewhere here it should be mentioned. That's fine. If I come across, I will I will highlight that three point uh, three point twelve is the minimum version for CMake. Okay, <clears throat> what we have seen, you you take this one, you get uh, versions. These are the packages that require NetCD at CAG port run, uh, NetCD at library, and uh, CMake. Uh, also, if you don't have make, uh, it might create a problem. And you need to know uh, package installations, these steps especially. We get unzip the file, go to the folder, bootstrap configure and then uh, make and at the end if it is installed successfully the version command will work uh, after the CMake you make sure that it is uh, at least uh, 3.12 then You, you get the targets, uh, this one here, how I, I, I showed you, I, I think this is 511 and uh, here if you right click copy link, it is in archive, be careful not 3, so uh, if you say this one It will install a new version because I have it already, the, uh, this one. And where it is, uh, where it is downloading, I will show it to you. It is in, yes, 
I'm afraid it's too long. In app data local packages, Ubuntu version, yes. So uh, another is coming here. Is it finished? It's finished. This one, it's like uh, duplication. You can delete it from here or there. Let's delete it uh, with rm. Version 5, 11.1, no Qatar, it's that point, that one. Let's see again. Is it gone? Yes, you see it's gone. Okay, uh, MHM version. Uh, Targets is here. Just well, you see, deleting from here creates headache. From here, it's better. The folder is gone. We have the targets source, this one, and the next is unzipping the file using tar command I will share these steps in the description in YouTube no worries it's sometimes not readable due to video quality in YouTube it's unzipped let's check it it's unzipped here the files are here so the other steps are similar in Linux you go to the folder, you create a subfolder name build or A, B, C, whatever. You uh, call the CMate with OpenMP string on and release. Later after CMate you say make and then copy the file to the upper layer. We go step by step. Uh, let's go to the MHM folder, version is important, we are there, create a subfolder name, build, or let's say, let's say, tweet, or twist, go to twist, and this is important, make this of course if you are running OpenMP if it is a SIGWIN you need to install uh, MPI on your computer it got the configuration of your system 7.5 and you may install even newer one if available, I think available, and you see there are different uh, configuration settings. Now we are ready to say make. So like in the previous make file, in the previous versions, there is no more make file installation approach. You need to compile using CMake for the newer versions. It's now compiling the Fortran codes. Hopefully in 100% it will be done. So to recap what we have done you have searched for MHM GitLab. You went there. Instead of develop, you go to 511. You can download yourself manually and put in the uh, in that location manually. 
same as uh, we get here it will directly download to your profile main folder home folder and then unzip the uh, MHM 511.1 target file it says zip for Linux and then go inside that folder create a subfolder with any name uh, go inside that folder and then CMake after CMake it will read the configuration of your computer of your system once it is done you can say make that's it now the remaining steps are this uh, it's finished what do you need to do copy ah let's see what is inside there's an MHM here but it will not run in this folder you need to take it to upper level and you need to uh, go to upper level as well now there is MHM in green that means that it has executable right X if not you need to say MHM X MHM but for now it's not necessary and then you just need to run MHM like this one that's it this is a test run so how you will know that it is uh, OpenMP it will show up here I have 16 threads 8 cores 16 threads and it's benefiting all that's a cool option for MHM thank you for watching good luck with MHM model